G'day, I'm Jesse Crow, the traveling scientist. And today we're gonna to be looking at MDMA or ecstasy, answering three key questions. How does it work in the body? Is it safe to use? And what to do if you have too much? Three, four methylene dioxymethamphetamine, also known as MDMA, is a psychoactive drug known as an empathogen, meaning it makes you feel empathetic, friendly, and euphoric. And it does this by increasing the activity of three neurotransmitters in your brain. Dopamine, which increases your energy levels and gives your brain a little bit of a reward. Noradrenaline, which increases your heart rate slightly. And serotonin, which affects your mood, your appetite, and your sexual arousal. When MDMA gets into your system, it travels through your bloodstream up into your brain where it causes your neurons to release these neurotransmitters. It also causes the neurons to stop the reuptake of those neurotransmitters to make them more effective. And finally, MDMA even mimics the neurotransmitters to really amplify the signals of serotonin, noradrenaline, and dopamine. The result is a feeling of euphoria, pleasure, happiness. Ah, oh, feels so good. Probably, I don't know, I haven't tried it. Fun fact, MDMA is also known as molly, which comes from the word molecular because it's usually in a powder or crystalline form. It is not named after a drug fiend called molly. Pure MDMA isn't very dangerous if you only take a small amount, but there are some side effects that you should keep in mind. Insomnia. Like most drugs that mess with the neurotransmitters in your brain, MDMA is going to mess with your sleep cycle and you're not going to get a good night's sleep until the drug is out of your system. Teeth clenching. The stimulating effect of MDMA seems to increase your awareness of certain feelings like your mouth and basically your jaw tightens and clenches together to try and protect the soft part of your mouth, but you're tripping so your brain's a little silly and it doesn't really know how much your jaw needs to close and you could end up wrecking your teeth, so just be careful there. Another documented side effect is becoming too friendly. Now, I would have said that this is a good thing, but apparently that can lead to sexual promiscuity, which can lead to a bunch of other problems. So yeah, MDMA is gonna make you really friendly. Just be aware, you might even get some action. A big risk with MDMA is contamination. Because it usually comes in a powder or crystalline form, it's really easy to dilute with something like cocaine, ketamine, crushed up paracetamol, or even bath salts. And this can be really dangerous. So make sure if you are going to use MDMA, you're getting it from a trusted source and it is pure and safe. Another thing to note is that after using MDMA, you're likely to have a come down. This is a relative reduction in your serotonin and dopamine levels, which is gonna leave you feeling really tired, irritated, and depressed. If you suffer from depression or bipolar, or if you're taking antidepressants, then using MDMA is a really bad idea. The fluctuation in your serotonin levels caused by these drugs can lead to serotonin syndrome, which can be lethal, but it's probably just gonna make you hella sick, so don't even do it. On the upside, MDMA addiction isn't really a problem. Your dopamine reward pathway is only slightly affected by MDMA. And if you're using the drug often, your body becomes more tolerant. So the pleasurable effects of MDMA become less pronounced while the bad side effects become more obvious. So you're not likely to keep using MDMA unless you're an idiot, but you're not. The biggest risk with taking MDMA is hypothermia and dehydration. This drug promotes an increase in your body temperature. And if you're dancing or running around a lot and not drinking water, you are literally going to cook yourself. So remember to stay hydrated and keep cool. Oh, but don't drink too much water. Sometimes when people are on MDMA, they overhydrate and suffer from hyponatremia, which is when you have too much water and not enough salt in your body. And this is also really dangerous. Try drinking sports drinks to regain those electrolytes that your body needs to function. Makes sense, right? Stay hydrated, but not too hydrated, and you should be fine. By the same token, if someone else has had too much MDMA, Keep them cool and keep them hydrated. Chuck them in a cold shower and give them a sports drink to help rehydrate them. And if they are really, really unwell, get them to a hospital as soon as possible. The doctor might be able to pump their stomach or offer some drugs that could counter the MDMA effects. But you're not gonna have too much MDMA, are ya? You? You'll be fine. For more information, check out rollsafe.org. It's a really great website that has lots of useful information 
about these kinds of drugs. Anyway, that's all for today guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, click the like button down below. If you have any questions or comments about MDMA or ecstasy, let us know in the comments section down below. Finally, next week's video is gonna be all about cocaine and how it works in the body. So it should be really interesting. Make sure you subscribe for more Traveling Science every week. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.